Right, welcome back to Spitting Your Dripper Reviews. Tonight we're doing an e-juice review on a company called Killer Juice, and this is a range called Seven Sins. We're going to be doing the whole complete range of Seven Sins as well, all seven flavours. Um, the flavours' names are Envy, which is grape, and Lime Ricky, which is like a drink in America. Um, Gluttony, which is Canadian bread pudding. Then you've got Greed, which is pomegranate champagne. Lust, which is rhubarb, pineapple, strawberry jam. Then you've got Pride, which is bilberry pie. Then you've got Sloth, which is pineapple, tropical fruits, white cake and lime. And then you've got Raf, which is raspberry, blueberry and custard danish. Now you can check these out at www.killerjuice.com. Now we'll put the links in underneath the actual view as well, under the video. Um, you, these company come from Troy, Michigan, USA as well. They do... 35 mil for $15.95 and 60 mil for $25.95. The nicotine levels are zero right through to a 24 milligram. They're pre steeped high VG blends as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to vape up on these. We're going to let you know what they taste like, what they vape like, and what they cloud like. Catch us back on the other side. Right, welcome back on the other side. The first flavor we're going to start with from the Seven Sins range is called Envy. And this one is a grape and lime ricky. Now, grape and lime ricky, as far as I know, is as because I don't come from America, but I'm I'm sure it's an American drink. So what we're going to do is I've already juiced up on this one. Like I said before, this is grape and lime ricky. We're going to have a little taste of this, and I'll let you know what it tastes and vapes like. Oh, that's lovely. Very nice. Straight away, you get the grape. Little burst of the lime, more of the grape though. That's nice. I'm just gonna uh, put a little bit more of that on. And have another little taste. And the smell, oh, it's gorgeous. Really smells nice. Right, let's have a little taste of this again. Big clouders, obviously because it's a high VG blend. Um, this one's definitely, definitely grapey more than it is lime. Um, I won this whole line from a competition, so we was very lucky to be able to review these. Um, I haven't found a UK vendor that sells these at the moment. I'm sure there will be one. You just have to hunt around a little bit more than what I did. But like I said, the actual company that we got these from, what I won a competition from, was from um, a company called Metro Vapor Plus. And basically, um, they had a massive competition going on, and uh, like everyone enters, you know, you do your like and you subscribe and share it to your wall. And uh, basically, I won the competition, so it was nice to be able to review these without even being. I mean, I don't even know if you can get these in the in the UK, or if anyone's ever even reviewed these in the UK yet. I've had a look around on YouTube, I haven't found them yet. Um, don't hold me to that, but hopefully we'll be one of the first to actually review these. Right, that was the first one, Envy. We're now going to be moving on to the next flavour, which is going to be Rough. And uh, I'll read out that one when we come back. So, yeah, catch us on the other side. Right, back with the next flavour from the Seven Sins. This one's Rough. And this one is Raspberry, Blueberry and Custard Danish. We've already dripped up. Have a little go on this. We can taste a blueberry straight away. That's nice, that is. Not really getting much custard. After a couple of seconds, you can get the you can taste the Danish in it. I'm not really getting. I'm only getting really blueberry. I'm not getting no raspberry. So that is lovely, it's, it's nice juice. Where it's all VG as well, it's a nice little cloud. Yeah, there's no, I can't taste no raspberry though, but you get the blueberry, you can taste the Danish. It is nice. But um, we move on to the next flavour now from the Seven Sins. Catch it on the other side. Right, back with the next flavour. This one's called Gluttony, 
and this one's Canadian bread pudding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to vape this up and let you know what it tastes like. Oh wow. Straight away get the um, cinnamons and like the raisin -y sort of taste with the cake. Straight away it does what it says on the tin. Oh that's very nice. Yeah I like that one, that does taste like exactly what it does say on the tin. This one like I said is Canadian bread pudding. This one's called Gluttony by the Seven Sins range. We're going to move on to the next flavour. Catch us back on the other side. Right, back with the next flavour from the Seven Sins. This one's Greed. And this is Pomegranate Champagne. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. It's different. It's one of them on a hot day. It's refreshing. It'd be one of them ones. It's like having a drink. It's really nice. I know it says champagne, but there's no alcohol flavour or nothing like that. It's just pure, but it's just pure pomegranate. It's lovely. But um, we're going to get to the next flavour from the Seven Sins. Catch us on the flip side. Right, back with the next flavour from Seven Sins range. And this one's called Sloth. Now in this one, we've got pineapple, tropical fruits, white cake and lime. What I'm going to do is, I've already dripped this up. I'm going to taste this to let you know what it tastes like and what it vapes like. Oh, that's fantastic. Straight away you get the pineapple and the limes kicking together. Creating this fusion in your mouth. I've, trust me, I mean, I've vaped a lot of juices in my time. I've never had this happen. This is really nice. Hold on. Oh, it's so yummy. It's like um, almost like um, like little jelly teddy bears. But when you get the um, the pineapple yellowy ones, like you know, and you get like a mouth, and oh, it's so nice. The the fruity textures with with the sweetness on the lip as well, like. Really, really, really sweet lips straight away. Lovely flavour. Like I said, this one is Sloth. This is by the Seven Sins range. We've got two more flavours from the Seven to go. I'm going to hand you over a bag cop of the next flavour. Catch us on the other side. Right. Next one in the uh, Seven Sins range is Pride. This is Bilberry Pie. And this is uh, it's from the Yorkshire Dales in England. And for an American juice, that's a pretty good thing to do. Let's have a little vape on this. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird flavour. It's kind of appley. It tastes quite appley on the, but not on the lip though. It tastes kind of sweet, like sweets, like apple sweets. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, Tastes really apple, it's really nice. A bit like a blue slush. But I'm um, going to hand you over to Good Cop now for the last last in the range of the Seven Sins. Catch us on the flip side. Right, back on the other side. Last of the flavours from the Seven Sins range. And this one's called Lust. And this one is raspberry, pineapple, and what was the last flavour? Strawberry, strawberry jam. jam. So this is like raspberry, pineapple, strawberry jam. We're going to taste this one up, let you know what it vapes like. So far, all I've got to say is all the juices so far have been absolutely lovely. Real, 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 real flavours going on in there. So yeah, like I said before, raspberry, strawberry jam and pineapple in this one. Hmm. That's a strange one. Loads of cloud, loads of vapor. This is absolutely beautiful. 
um, the flavour. This one I find um, there's a there's a sting of strawberry as it first comes in. Then after about two seconds, it goes dull, and then dips down into a cool like a background of pineapple that's not very sharp. And then at the back exhale is when you start getting like the um, the actual flavours again back coming back through. Do you get what I mean from the fruits? So it, it, it's, a, it's a nice one. It's, it's not probably the strongest out of the seven range, but it's still a nice, nice bait. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm going to try one more just to see if it is... A little bit more on there. Right. There we go. A bit more strawberry. Same again, pineapple. Dolls down, pineapple kicks in. I'm not really tasting the... Um, what was the other fruit we had in there? Rhubarb. Rhubarb. Not really tasting like the rhubarb at all. It's more definitely to strawberry at the start. Little touch of pineapple, but it's mainly through and throughout a strawberry vape. I would say that's the one that's carrying itself. Um, all these ranges, all I've got to say is, as well, look, look at the colors. I mean, the, the, the beauty of the colors in these is unreal. It's absolutely like in your tanks, these are going to be so nice, like real, real, real nice colors. All natural ingredients, as well. But don't forget, check these out and uh, let us know what you think. And also, if you can get hold of them in the UK. Let us know as well so we can help put the link back up in our reviews underneath and in, in the messages that we want to put in with all the links. Um, we, we found it hard to find a UK vendor. We found an American vendor, like obviously the actual company to do these. Um, you can order straight from them. They do do, if you spend over $50, you can get free shipping as well. So that's also a good thing. Um, basically, yeah, like I said to you, real top-end juices, high VG, Good for your dripping as well as like if you've got good board tanks like if you've got a good holes in your, in your coils in your tanks like a tfv4 or something like that these would be perfect for your tanking as well like i said real good show off juice good for the color good value for money as well don't forget this has been spitting your dripper reviews we've got plenty more reviews coming up soon as well and uh, a few more mods coming up very shortly so well uh, yeah keep it locked don't forget to subscribe and catch us back next time when we do spitting your dripper reviews